Hello my Miracle Girls! Today in this video I will be doing a journaling page in my Book of Mormon journal by line upon line. I will be using this cute pen to write with from uh, wish.com and this craft card from Illustrated Faith. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my mat underneath my paper because I don't want nothing to bleed through. And I am first going to highlight the verse I'm focusing on, Alma 724. And I also pulled up a quote from Thomas S. Monson because it kind of relates with the verse and I thought it'd be great to write this on the page and kind of like revolve around that. I just finished writing the first part of the quote and I just glued down a cute little cutout from Illustrated Faith. And now I'm using um, stamps from Illustrated Faith. And I found one that actually said Faith, which is kind of like the theme of the verse in the quote, so I thought that was great. Now I'm using my typewriter to type out Thomas S. Monson because I don't want everything to be the same. I like to mix up, you know, handwriting, stamps, in my typewriter because I like it all to be different textures and fonts and all that. Uh, so now I'm using another stamp from Illustrate Faith and then I'm going to use another one from their Rise Up kit, I believe, um, that was like from last year. And I just really, really like the stars. I thought that was pretty. I'm using a Prisma colored pencil and I'm just gonna color in the stars to make them look really cute. And I'm adding a more of an orangey color to kind of match the light bulb color better. Now I am just adding some touches to the page that I feel like is um, missing something. So I'm using this pink Prisma color pencil and uh, and then I started adding some paint and I um, kind of regretted it um, but you know we all make mistakes as crafters or do something that we don't really like uh, and of course you can't really go back because it's actual paper so um, I end up covering it up with some washi and, and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I think it turned out okay in the end um, but you know what it's all about learning to embrace those mistakes because uh, that is what this journaling crafting community is all about is that we just are creative in our own way and we don't compare our work to others and that we just embrace our mistakes. Uh, so I just quickly drew out like a little sketchbook um, square box thing <laughs> and that is where I'm going to write my thoughts and personal uh, prayers and everything that I felt uh, impressioned by from this verse and the quote. It's time to add the date to the page. I always try to make sure I do it. Sometimes I forget, unfortunately, but I always try to make sure I do it because it is so awesome to look back later on and see when you did the certain page and what you were feeling and thinking at the time. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Here is the results of the page. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, and please, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you would like to see more videos like this, uh, also please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I am so grateful to all of you who are already my subscribers. I'm just super, super thankful. So thank you. And I am looking forward to the next video. Hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.